Hello, and welcome to how to create custom conditional formatting rules in Excel 2007, a Microsoft Office tutorial presented by Logon to Learn, powered by KnowledgeWave. In this session, we will cover how to set our own conditions in formatting to create more pertinent formatting rules. Welcome to another session on conditional formatting in Excel. In this session, we're going to create our own formatting rules. However, the steps all begin the same. I'm going to select the range of cells I would like to perform the condition on, which is my H column or price. I'm going to go to the conditional formatting button and choose new rule. There are several options here, but I do want to create a rule that will format all cells based on their values. However, I want it to be a three color scale, not a two color scale. I could choose data bars or icon sets here as well, but no, I want a three color scale. What I get here are the defaults for this type of rule, which are the lowest values to be my minimum, percentiles to be my midpoint, and highest values to be my maximum. I'd like to change that up. So in this case, what I'd like to do is make my minimum based on a number. And I know from my data that I would like that number to be 799. And what that's going to do is make all values 799 or less red. My midpoint, I would also like to be based on a number. And that number I want to be 1299. That is the most occurring number in my data set. And it also is near the middle. So I'd like that to be my set yellow middle. Now my highest value, I would like to be based on a number also. And that number is 1999. I can tell by looking at my data, I have very few values over 1999. In essence, it is my most occurring high value. So I'm going to keep that. So now all values 1999 or greater will be pure green. All values below $800 or 799 or less will be red. And my values that are 1299 will be yellow, demonstrating that they are in the middle. I'm going to click OK and then click away and we can see that. Right off the bat, we can see that there's a value here that is 1999 and it's still that pure green. So even though it is not technically my highest value, I've overridden that and made it appear as a high value. Same thing with the 775. We can see that it's a pure red, while the 899 above it and the 849 below it are more orangish, because all values 799 or less are now red. That's one custom conditional formatting rule we can create. Let's do another. This time I'm going to select my C column or style, Go back to my conditional formatting button and choose new rule. This rule will be based on the format only cells that contain model. And I'm going to choose cell value equal to, and I'm going to type in notebook. It is not case sensitive. Now I'm going to establish my formatting. I'd like it to be bold. I'd like it to be a dark red, and I'm going to give it a fill color of a light blue. I'm going to click OK. I can preview my formatting, and then click OK again. When I click away, I can see it more clearly. All my notebook computers have now a dark red font with light blue fill. And those are examples of two different custom conditional formatting rules we can set. However, the possibilities are virtually endless. So have fun, create some great conditional formats, and good luck. We hope this session has been informative. Thank you for choosing Log On to Learn, powered by KnowledgeWave, educating the world anytime, anywhere.